extend these two vectors to a basis of R4. First, let's see are these two vectors linearly independent or not. The method is write the given vectors as a rows of the matrix, then apply the elementary operations and reduce it to echelon form. So, I am applying R2 changes to R2 minus 2 into R1 because the this is the first non-zero element of the first row. The elements uh, must below the first non-zero entry must be 0. So, 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 3 minus 2, 1, 4 minus 2, 2. Now, this is in the echelon form. There, there, there are no zero rows. Therefore, the vectors are linearly independent. If there is a zero row, then vectors are linearly dependent. Now, you have to take two more vectors. See, how to take those two more vectors? The first column has a pivot. Third column has a pivot. So, the two uh, linearly independent vectors are, or the given vectors are linearly independent already. Similarly, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2 is also linearly independent. First column has a pivot, third column has a pivot. Second column doesn't have a pivot and fourth column doesn't have a pivot. So, you have to write the rows in such a way that that second column contains a pivot and the fourth column has a pivot. So, I will take the vectors 0, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1 so that the those four vectors are in the echelon form. So, I can write a 0, 1, 0, 0 here, then 0, 0, 1, 2 and 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, look at these four vectors. They are, they are forming a matrix and this matrix is in the echelon form. Hence, these four vectors are linearly independent. You know that any four vectors in uh, linearly independent uh, vectors of R power 4 always spans the whole space R power 4. Hence, it is a basis of R4. So, you have to see which column doesn't have a pivot. At that place, you have to write the standard basis uh, vectors. That is, these are standard basis vectors. 0, 1, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1. Therefore, now V1, V2, W1, W2 all together form a matrix in the echelon form. Therefore, all these vectors, these four vectors form a basis of R4. This is how we extend the given linearly independent set to a basis of the given vector space. Similarly, 1, 2, minus 3, 4, 5, minus 6. This, these are, this is a set of vectors in R cube. Extend it to a basis of R cube. So, basis of R cube should contain three elements. There are two elements. We have to check are these two linearly independent. Uh, write a matrix with, uh, with the these vectors as its rows. Therefore, 1, 2, minus 3, 4, 5, minus 6. Reduce it to the echelon form. R2 changes to R2 minus 4 into R1. So, 4 minus 4, 0. 5 minus 4, 2 is 8. Minus 3, minus 6, uh, minus 4 into minus 3. That is, minus 6 plus 12 is 6. Therefore, no 0 rows. The vectors are linearly independent. So, you know that the linearly independent vectors can be extended to basis. Therefore, first column has a pivot, second column has a pivot, third column doesn't have a pivot. Therefore, write a row with the third column as a pivot, that is 0, 0, 1. You can go with the standard uh, basis vector. You can use other vector also, but standard basis vector is the easier. So, 0, 0, 1. Therefore, 1, 2, minus 3, 0, minus 3, 6, 0, 0, 1 forms a basis of R cube. This is how we extend linearly independent set to a basis of the given vector space. Hope you understood. Thank you for watching.